All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're doing another sacrament. It is the Trader's Cove, okay? And we need to kill Tabiba. We need to kill Gian Alini. Okay, we need to kill Tabiba with poison, okay? So if you didn't watch my last one, how do we kill with poison? Well, it's very simple. We just go into our inventory, scroll down the weapons, go to poison, and select a poison. Okay, so if that wasn't selected, go over the poison you want to use and do that. Now, I'm not sure if the magic or stamina will work, but I do know that the health and the lethal poison do work. Okay, so, all right, so on my map, okay, it gave me here, okay, this is uh, John and this is Tabiba. Okay, now I already know that in this area right here, there are a lot of people walking around and there are a lot of guards. So you really have to be on the lookout here. Um, try to kill as many people off as you can without alerting, and that way you can do it. Now, the last time I did it, he was actually on this side right here, and there was a lady that I went and killed, and I thought I was hidden enough, and I wasn't. He ended up fighting me, but I killed him anyways. Uh, it's possible that he could be here this time. Now, once we get to this section here, um, you got to go quick because there are two guards that kind of patrol, and sometimes they overlap. So we'll take a look, and hopefully it'll happen so that you can see it. All right, so we go in. Now, as soon as we start going up the hill here, there is a guy that we need to watch out for. There's one right there, right up at the top. Now, this one will sometimes come down, so we need to be over a little bit. And there's a guard that will come this way too, so we really need to be careful right here. The guard stops at about the barrels, but the blue lines finish down here a little bit. Okay, so he's coming down, so hopefully we can take care of him without him seeing us. There we go. If you wanted to right, detect me, head, you've got it, trespasser. That's okay, we got five. Not a problem. Okay, so there's the guard. Now she's gonna he or she's gonna stop at the bell right there. Okay, and depending on where the next group of people are, this may take a second to get through. Maybe a couple times before we actually get to pass. The key here is to take your time. Don't rush. Take all the time you need. There's no timer on this one. The Thieves Guild, there are timers. On this one, there are none. It's just when you leave. Okay, so that guy over there, there's still another one here somewhere, but we'll take him out. Hopefully it'll ease it a little bit here okay so it doesn't look like the other guys here there's another guy that's must across the bridge I watched him earlier okay so be careful of the overlap here okay there's our final one that we need to kill so we know where they are okay now this guard comes back and forth you won't be able to get through this section without hiding inside of that um, hiding spot there All right, so we are in the hiding spot. We're gonna let her come back by. And when she does, we're gonna jump out. All right, we're gonna move on down. Ooh. Okay, we need to take him out as soon as possible. Okay, now you can hide on either side, but it's better that you move forward, if you can, as soon as you can, to this over here, this container. Hopefully he doesn't see me. Okay, now we took her out. Now we can take him out comfortably. But the guard will be coming back through here in just a minute, so there is a place here to hide, if needs be. I'm not gonna jump in it until I see whether or not I have to. And we just need to wait till he gets up there and turns around. Okay, that's the one here. Now the guard is coming back. If we hurry, we might be able to get over here to the side. There we go. 
Okay, now if he is in that room right there, there is another barrel down there in the end that you can hide in. Uh, if he's up there, I've caught him on the left-hand side over here, kind of like right where I'm facing, uh, right here. And there's a barrel about right here that you can hide in. Okay, so now we can move on through, but watch for the guard here. Oh, I wasn't crouched. Okay, she stops there, or he, now goes back. Now we gotta jump in the barrel and wait. The basket, whatever to call it. There we go. So just wait here until she comes back. There's no way you can pass. All right. As soon as the blue line gets past us, we're off. go. Make sure you're still crouched. All right, there's the guard here. We can see the blue line now. It's going to come back. So Okay, remember there's a hiding spot there. All right. Oh, there we go. So, got to wait to see where this one goes. Hopefully that guard won't come back. Okay, guard's still gonna be another second over there. Okay, now I do know that this one walks right up to the counter. Just stay low and down. All right, so now we gotta get out of here. Okay, and there are two guys standing over here, so this might take a second. Now if we hurry and he doesn't turn around, keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, there we go. Just stay crouched low right here. Okay, now you have two options here. You can either drop down or we can go back down the hill. Now, I'm not sure if he's respawned, the one that I had a little bit ago. Yeah, he has respawned. Okay, so I'm gonna go down this way. As soon as the guard passes, there we go, drop down. All right, and now we're home free. We'll go back up to the uh, Dark Brotherhood and see what we got. All right, so we're back at the Dark Brotherhood. Hopefully we got a, uh, a drop here. A motif, that's what I'm looking for. Sometimes they drop, sometimes they don't. Well, the void there. Let's take a look. And we got the Dark Brotherhood legs. Good. That's what I needed. So, we got that. Well, that's it for this video. Um, if you liked it, please like the video and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.